Welcome to Tech Talk Central. I'm Nathan. And I'm Sarah. Today we're diving into a comparison a lot of creators are thinking about. The brand new Microsoft Surface Pro 11 versus Apple's latest iPad Pro M4. Yeah, it's a big decision. Both are super powerful tablets, but they offer pretty different experiences, especially when you factor in Windows versus iPad OS. Exactly. We've looked at the specs, user reviews, the whole package, really trying to figure out which one might be the better fit for creative work. So let's jump in. Maybe start with the Surface Pro 11. Sounds good. Okay, so the Surface Pro 11, Microsoft is positioning this as a Copilot Plus PC, heavily leaning into AI. And importantly, the bundle we looked at, it actually comes with the Pro Keyboard and the Slim Pen. Right, that's a key point straight away. You get that two-in-one experience right out of the box, tablet and laptop. Mm -hmm. And the display, it's a 13-inch PixelSense Flow touchscreen. OLED. Oh, OLED. That's a big upgrade. Resolution is 2880 by 1920, so super sharp. Plus a dynamic refresh rate up to 120 hertz. Yeah, that should make everything feel really smooth, scrolling, drawing, whatever. And that OLED contrast, 1200 to 1, should be great for visual work. Under the hood, it's running the new Snapdragon X Elite processor. And the really interesting part, especially looking forward, is the dedicated MPU. The neural processing unit, right, delivering 45 top PS. Exactly, top PS, uh, trillions of operations per second, basically a measure of its AI processing power. It signals Microsoft is really banking on on-device AI features becoming important. Which could be huge for creative apps down the line, faster editing, smarter tools, you know. For sure. It also has a Qualcomm Adreno GPU. The model we saw had 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD, mm. decent specs. And you can configure it higher, right? Up to 32 gigs of RAM, I think, and even a 2TB SSD. Yeah, plenty of options there. Plus, connectivity seems solid. Two USB-C 4 ports. Good for fast charging, data transfer, even running multiple 4K monitors. And standard Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. And it runs Windows 11 Pro. Okay, so the full Windows experience, which yeah. is great for software access, but there's a catch with that Snapdragon chip, isn't there? Yeah, that's what some users are finding. The ARM architecture means not all existing Windows software runs perfectly yet. Right, like some Adobe apps might still need beta versions. That's um, definitely something creators need to be aware of. Absolutely critical if your workflow relies on specific, older, or maybe less common Windows apps, check compatibility first. So user feedback, what are people saying generally? Lots of praise for the versatility, hmm. you know, works well as a laptop and a tablet, spreadsheets, photo management, usual stuff. The OLED screen gets tons of compliments. Amazing was the word used. I saw that too. Yeah. And people like the extra storage options, especially the card slot up to 2TB, good size, fast performance generally. Lightweight. Any downsides mentioned? Well, the lack of a standard USB-A port annoyed some. You need an adapter or a dock. Okay. Pretty common these days, but still a point. And a few people had issues with the Flex keyboard not connecting properly. That'd be frustrating. Definitely. Oh, and I saw one review mention the keyboard and pen weren't even in the box when it arrived. Hopefully just an isolated thing. Let's hope so. On the plus side, it's EP Gold certified for energy efficiency. Price-wise, that 16 GB, 512 GB bundle was around $1,630. Gotcha. So a premium device includes the accessories, runs full Windows, but with that ARM software caveat. Exactly. Okay, let's switch gears to the iPad Pro M4. All right. The big story here seems to be that new M4 chip, Apple intelligence features coming down the line, and just how incredibly thin and light it is. And that display. People are raving about the 13-inch Ultra Retina XDR, uh. also OLED, but Apple's calling it Tandem OLED for extra brightness and control. Right, extreme brightness, amazing contrast, color accuracy, everything creatives look for, plus promotion, P3 color, true tone. And there's even a nano texture glass option on the 1TB and 2TB models if you need to cut down glare. Resolution is 2752 by 2064, just super crisp. Performance-wise, that M4 chip is supposed to be, well, outrageous, as Apple puts it, up to 10-core CPU, 10-core GPU. And users seem to agree. Reports of it being incredibly fast, smooth, Video editing, gaming, demanding apps, apparently no lag. Instant app opening. Yeah, that M-series silicon has been impressive. The model we looked at had 512 GB storage, also goes up to 2 TB. All-day battery life is the claim. Connectivity. Wi-Fi 6E, USB-C, with Thunderbolt USB 4 support. Similar high-speed potential is the Surface Pro. But the OS is the big differentiator here. iPad OS. Right. Built for touch. Features like Stage Manager for multitasking, Scribble with the Apple Pencil. It's a different paradigm from Windows. And it works with the new Apple Pencil Pro, which has some cool new features, or the standard USB-C pencil, and the Magic Keyboard, of course, for that laptop feel. But those are extra costs, right? 
unlike the Surface Bundle. Exactly. The Pencil Pro and Magic Keyboard add a significant chunk to the price if you want that full setup. What are users saying overall about the iPad Pro experience? Overwhelmingly positive about the display again. The OLED is seen as a massive upgrade. Performance gets top marks too. Easy to use, simple setup, typical Apple strengths. Yep. And the thinness and lightness really stand out for portability. Build quality is described as, you know, ultra high quality, durable. People like the screen size too, especially for visual work. Battery life seems to hold up to the all day claim for most. The main point of discussion seems to be value. Expensive. Well, yeah. Many feel it's worth it for the quality and performance, but others definitely find it pricey, especially once you add accessories. That 512 GB Wi-Fi model starts around $1,300 before pencil or keyboard. Gotcha. Also, EPEAT Gold certified, like the Surface. So let's bring it back to that core Windows versus iPadOS question for creators. We mentioned the potential software compatibility hurdles with the Surface's ARM chip. Yeah. You need to make sure your specific Windows tools run well. Whereas iPadOS has a huge library of fantastic touch-first creative apps. Things like Procreate, Affinity Suite, Adobe's mobile apps are really strong. But it's maybe not quite full desktop parity for everything yet, right? Like complex file management or certain niche plugins might still be easier on Windows? That's often the trade-off. iPadOS is getting more powerful, Stage Manager helps with multitasking, external display support is good, but it's still not Windows. So if you live in Adobe Creative Cloud on a desktop, the Surface might feel more familiar, assuming your apps run smoothly on ARM. But if you prefer a touch-native workflow, or your key apps are stellar on iPadOS, the iPad Pro is incredibly compelling. And then there's the input method cost. Surface includes the pen and keyboard. iPad Pro requires buying them separately. That's a big difference in the initial outlay for a comparable setup. Multitasking styles are different too. Windows, traditional Windows versus iPad OS's stage manager. It's kind of a personal preference thing. Yeah, which feels more productive for your workflow. Displays, both OLED, both stunning by all accounts. Probably not the deciding factor alone. Agreed. It seems to boil down more to the OS ecosystem, the software you need, and the total cost with accessories. And maybe the AI angle. <laughs> Surface is pushing Copilot plus hard with that MPU. Apple's talking Apple intelligence for the iPad Pro. Right. Both are clearly seeing AI as the next frontier for these devices, though we're still waiting to see exactly how that translates into game-changing creative features day to day. So, summing up, Surface Pro 11, Feels more like a traditional computer out of the box, strong on AI potential, includes key accessories, but watch out for ARM software compatibility. iPad Pro M4, incredible display, blazing performance, fantastic touch-first app ecosystem, super portable, but you'll pay extra for the pencil and keyboard, and iPad OS still has some limitations compared to a full desktop OS for certain tasks. It really depends on the individual creator, doesn't it? your specific software, your budget, how you prefer to work. Absolutely, there's no single best answer, just the best fit for you. Well, hopefully this deep dive give you a clearer picture of what each of these powerhouses offers creative pros. They're both amazing tools, just different. Definitely. Understanding those differences is key to making the right choice for your work. And if you want to check out the latest prices or find some deals on either the Surface Pro 11 or the iPad Pro M4, we've put some links down in the description below for you. Yeah, definitely check those out. And hey, if this comparison was helpful, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel, Tech Talk Central, for more tech deep dives like this one. Thanks for tuning in.